So Tanisha Sermons has gonna jump ball here at the center court. Lady Dogs dressed in all black, trimmed in red. Meanwhile, the Lady Cougars of Calhoun County dressed in all white, trimmed in red with blue shoes. And I'll be trying not to sing blue suede shoes throughout the game. Calhoun immediately shoots a three-pointer up and in off the glass. And they will press the Lady Dogs in the backcourt. Tanisha with the basketball. Calhoun gonna tie her up in a jump ball call. It'll stay with Lanier County. Gano's gonna bring it in, she'll get it into Broggy. Calhoun's gonna pick her up way out top. She gets it over to Daisy. Daisy drives, stops, gives it to Kara. Shot up, no good, rebound Calhoun. Calhoun County. They throw a long pass up ahead. Just kick it back out for a three, no good. Daisy comes out there with a rebound. She pushes it ahead. Shot by Kira Smalls up, no good. Calhoun away with a rebound. Long three-pointer up, no good. Broggy with down with a rebound. She pushes it out. They slap it away from behind. Daisy drives, passes it under to Nasia. She shot up, no good, blocked. Calhoun out of there with it. That's got the traveling violation, double dribble. Jeremy, I have always liked the color combinations they have. Red, white, and blue, you can't beat it. That's American through and through. I'm proud to be a Bulldog, but I love those. Oh, color the shoes combos. are blue. Okay, I just, yep. I just picked up on that. If you didn't hear me, I was going to try not to sing blue suede shoes. Yeah, I heard you say that, but I wasn't, wasn't sure what I was talking. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy busy keeping the camera going. Again, you'll see in this, you'll see this in tape delay as uh, there is not enough internet service. We apologize for that. Nothing we could do about it, but nowhere near enough internet service to bring these games live. Long three from Calhoun, no good. Rebound Calhoun, put back up and in. They'll take a 5-0 lead with 6-12 to go, 6-11 to go in the first quarter, and Coach Ty Randolph's going to call a timeout. There comes Gracie carrying the, uh, what do they call that thing he's got that he makes notes on? That's the, that's the uh, clipboard that he does plays on. It has a diagram of a basketball court, and he can draw up plays on it with a dry erase marker. In recapping today, we've I've been here. I uh, saw uh, saw Wilcox County boys out of our region knock off Terrell County from Region 1A in a nail biter that Wilcox trail for most of the game and won in the end. Oh, so they were about to lose and then they they won. Huh? They they were about to lose and they tied the game with one minute to go. Terrell chose to a turnover. That would have been a good game, I think. It was a very good game. And, as Calhoun goes up seven, though. But I said I was going to tell how that ball game and the guys game, and I didn't get around to it. But what happened was Terrell led for much of the afternoon by as many as nine at one point while I was here. And uh, Wilcox came back with some three-point shots and tied the game at 79 with a minute to go. Terrell called a timeout, and they chose to run the clock all the way down to shoot the last shot of the basketball game as a three-pointer Calhoun lead 10 of them. But they run the clock all the way down to three seconds and the Terrell County guy traveled with the ball, giving the ball to Wilcox. Wilcox caught a timeout. They brought it in on the sideline or on the baseline. Was gonna have to go the length of the floor and with three tenths of a second to go in the in regulation, Terrell fouled number 14, uh, which is uh, Howard for Wilcox County. He goes to the line to shoot a one and one, which was not a one and one, but a bonus. So they was in the double bonus. So he had two free throws. He missed the first one, but Terrell committed a lane violation. So 
That gave him another shot, and so he has two shots still, so he makes both of those, puts them up 81-79. Wilcox calls a timeout. We talk about their defense on the inbound. Terrell brings it in and throws a ball the length of the floor and hit the front of the rim. And, I mean, it was an eighth of an inch from going in and bounced off the front of the rim no good. So Wilcox won that ball game, and then we watched Pelham High's Lady Hornets take on the Greenville, and I'm not sure what that Greenville went too far out, way out of bounds. Greenville annihilated Pelham Lady Hornets, and then our Bulldogs fall to Pelham's Hornets just a few moments ago prior to this game. Calhoun another three, no good. Three seconds in the lane, 10 seconds in the lane, still in the lane. Build a house or two down there, and we finally come away to rebound. Foul call, or no, some type of violation call, no foul, but it's going to be Calhoun's basketball nonetheless. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. The bleachers was in the way down there. Yep. I could have swore one of, the other, one of them players though stepped out, out of bounds. And there's a large Gatorade cooler down there right in front of that. Had it. Another shot up blocked from behind by Tanasia Sermons. Kiara Smalls out with it. She pushes it up the floor. Going to put a shot up. No good. And an offensive foul call. No wonder nobody scores on this team. Shot on the way, up and in, 13-0. Calhoun Lady Cougars lead with 421 in the first quarter. I bet this uh, control clock operator makes sure he gets the points correct in this game. Gano up and in, first points of the night for the Lady Dogs. 13-2 with 409 left here in the first quarter. Shantiria Charles going to make her way to the score table. She'll check in. They call a foul. Lady Cougar made a triple pivot. She was on the wrong side. Free throw shot up, no good. Centuria is going to check in. Daisy is going to check out. Calhoun with one more free throw. Shot up and in. 14-2. Lady Cougars lead. 3.57 to go here in the first quarter. Tanasia pushes it across. She gets it to Centuria down under the basket. Shot up. No good. High off the backboard. Calhoun clears the rebound. Got a timeout call by Calhoun County. Now, why would they do that there? 12 points ahead. Just to act like they know what they're doing. They get five of them. So sometimes coaches have to uh, make a spectacle of themselves, let everybody know that they're the coach. Jeremy, we saw here earlier how come they those scores are the way they were. They play some tenacious defense and Yeah, that's right. Three point shot on the way. No good. Rebound Kira Small.
foul called. It'll be the second team foul of the evening on Calhoun County. Kara Smalls bring the ball out over on the side. They have not put that on the board yet. Two fouls for Calhoun. Well, wait, maybe they have. Are they guests or home? They're home, aren't they? They're home, but they didn't. They haven't put that on the board, so so it'll be one because they always right with their school book. Lady Dawes missed a point blank layup. There's a foul called on Kiara Smalls down on the other end. Free throw on the way up, no good. Gano's going to check out. Um, Naziah Sermons checks in. It's on the floor now for the Lady Dogs. Shantiria Charles. Tiara Charles. Tanasia Sermons. Kiara Smalls. And Naziah Sermons. Traveling call on Calhoun County. Basket will not count. Ball down low to Naziah, puts it up and in. She comes off the bench and immediately scores. It's a nice spivey to the score table. It's another three-pointer from Calhoun. Shot's no good. They'll rebound. Block in there by Naziah Sermons and a foul call. Should have been a jump ball. They're going to call the foul on Tierra Charles. Traveling violation on Calhoun County. Tara Spivey is going to have it taken away from here. She pushes the young lady in the back and then a flagrant foul call. And then Ainsley Brogdon is going to check in, I'm sure, for her. Three to go in the first quarter. Calhoun leading 14 to four at the line for a flagrant foul. Second free throw. Up and in, 15-4. Calhoun County's ball on the baseline. Another three-pointer up, no good. Calhoun down the rebound, back up and in. 17-4. Ball slapped out of bounds by Calhoun. Daisy's going to check back in, and Tanasia Sermons is going to check out. out of bounds off of Calhoun County. It'll belong to the Lady Dogs under their own basket. Daisy under the basket. She's blocked. Shanteria comes up with the loose ball. Puts up a shot. No good. Calhoun comes away with it. Another three-point shot and another miss. Rebounded, put back up and in, 19-4. Calhoun leads, 
minute 35, and they've got a loose ball, going to shoot a layup up and no good. They rebound, kick it back out, reset the offense. Down under the 35. She puts it up and in. She walked twice, no call. 21 4. 116 to go. Daisy Jones to Naziah Sermons. Her shot is blocked. She was out of bounds. A minute 10 to go. Here, Charles, runner, no good. Broggy tried to come up with it, and it goes out of bounds off her fingertips. 56 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Oh. 23-4. Lady Cougars, 43-42 seconds and a foul. Major Sermon is going to check back in the ball game. Centurion Charles to come out. Ball shot away from Mosiah. Goes out of bounds. Back belong to the Lady Dog. They're going to stack it up here in front of the, or near the score table. Mazai gets it into Broggy. They take it from her. And a drive, push off, pass, shot up and in. 25-4, Lady Cougars out in front. They're going to steal it from Tunisia, but lose it out of bounds. Ball goes down low to Tanasia Sermon. Shot is blocked out of bounds. 13.8 seconds to go. Is there a reason why the coach for a, um, Calhoun is not standing up? Well, he just got up now, but he had been sitting down. Well, I imagine he's up 25 to four. He don't have a reason to be too anxious. Jump ball call. Lady Dogs ball under their own basket. They try to get it in again. They do to Tanasia. Out to Tania Spivey over to Daisy Jones in the corner to Broggy. Three pointer on the way. No good. Tanasia puts it back up. No good. Broggy down with it. Pulls it back out one. Shoots a three. And in. At the buzzer. Broggy for three. 25 7. Lady Cougars will lead at the end of the first quarter. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Very good shot. She took one. It was in and out. No good. Lady Dogs got the rebound. I think she may have got her own and dribbled back out, turned around, shot a three back up and in. While we have a moment here between quarters, I want to once again thank our sponsors, Lakeland Drugs. Lakeland Drugs has been your hometown pharmacy since 1950. Stop by there and see Miss Ivy McCurdy, Mr. Joe Brogdon and their family. Tell them thank you for sponsoring the Near County High School Bulldog basketball throughout the season. Also, Connell Cabinets and Millworks. Connell Cabinets and Millworks over on East Church Street in Lakeland. View their portfolio online at ConnellCabinets.com. Loose ball. Calhoun finally comes up with it, and they put it up and in. 27-7 with 7.46 to go here in the second period. 
We're just underway in the second quarter. Calhoun all over Thanasia. She throws it over Daisy Jones, outstretched arms. Out of bounds, it'll go back to Calhoun. Young lady laying on her back on the floor gets the rebound. And now she gets the loose ball, gets the pass to her down in the corner. She shot and missed and then a rebound and then a foul. I wonder what team this is coming in here along the side. I, don't, I can't read their jersey, but they're huge. <laughs> they are huge. Of course, Calhoun County's Cougars play next here as their Lady Cougars just put a free throw up and in and extend their lead. Just going to look. Free throw up, no good. Gano with the rebound. And Lady come over her back. No foul. Daisy out of there with it. Kiara running one-hander block. Loose ball on the floor. Kiara gets it to Brogge. She's blocked. Heard a lot of skin on that shot. No foul call. Tanasia with a loose ball. Reach in foul. Timeout. And they caught they did not call a foul. No foul call, although there was several there. Finally found a schedule of this thing that Clint sent me. That school is Drew Charter, and I believe Drew Charter is out of Atlanta. Gino tied up down there, and they just take the ball away. No jump ball, never called. Kira down to Tanisha, shot up, she's fouled. Tanasia will go to the line to shoot two. Calhoun leads 28-7 with 6.32 to go in the half. Tanasia's free throw is no good. Second free throw on the way up and in. 28-8, 6.32 left here. That should be a violation. Kira Smalls comes out of there with a rebound. She's going to have it ripped from behind and it'll go out of bounds. You know, I don't see too many people here from Lakeland. No, not a large crowd, but it's a two and a half hour drive. Yeah. Over here, I see Coach Rob Brunel out in the lobby. I'm not sure if he's been here the entire time, but I don't remember seeing him during the boys' game. I was wondering if he was here or not. Broggy shot up, no good rebound, Calhoun. Tanasia, I think her Kiara one's gonna draw a foul there. And Calhoun will score. 
called on Daisy Jones, I'm sorry. Didn't see Daisy in that scuffle. Calhoun leads 30 to eight with 5.48 to go in the half. And they're at the line to shoot a free throw. Free throw up and in, 31-8 Calhoun leads. So Jeremy, we got uh, almost two and a half quarters left to play in this basketball game. And the Lady Dogs only need two points to avoid being the third team to be held under 10 points. So I'd like to see those other teams that Calhoun has played. Kano's going to bring it in. She's looking for someone to get it to. She gets it under the Tanasia. Shot up no good off the rim. Naziah Sermons with a rebound, and Tanasia get the rebound and no shot call. Official calls a foul. Much rather had that basket. Loose ball again on the floor, jump ball call. And Tanasia and <laughs> Nice Spivey will check in. Tanasia Sherman is going to check out. Lady Dolls ball over on the side. Foul call. Had more of those type fouls been called in the boys game, Jeremy. Uh, Pelham would have fouled out several players. Shot no good. Rejected a little bit. Calhoun working the ball around. They're going to shoot a long three. No good. Number 11 made it one to start the ball game. Off the glass, and she shot about eight more, and she's 0 for 8. But her team leads. Slapped away from behind. Will be the lady ball, lady dolls ball under their own basket. 4:36 to go in the half. Sermon's free throw up and in. She'll have one more. Second one on the way. No good. Calhoun with a rebound. 31 9. Four and a half minutes to go. Calhoun with another score. 33 9.
Daisy Jones outruns everybody, goes gets the loose ball. Ball underneath the Daisy, she lays it up, no good. Shot back up, no good. Calhoun away with it. Kira Smalls with the basketball. She has it stripped away from her. Pass down low, up and in, 35-9. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Kira Charles has it taken away from her by number 11. She passes it down underneath the 20. He lays it up and in. 37-9. Coach Ty Randolph's going to call another timeout. I think that's about his fourth of the half. We've been here, I've been here a lot, uh, probably five hours now, and I've seen three officers from, I'm assuming, Calhoun County, maybe the city of Edison. I've yet to see a school resource, off, resource officer. Calhoun with a layup up and in and a foul. They take a 30-point lead and they'll go to the line. So a chance of a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Though on the way, no good. Shania Spivey runs down the rebound. She gets it over to Naziah Sermon. Naziah dribbles it up. Going to try to get it back to Spivey and has it stolen away. Layup shot up and in. 41 9. 225 to go in the opening half. Tierra Charles is going to lose the basketball out of bounds. Ainsley Brogdon going to check back in the ball game. Traveling call. It'll be Calhoun's ball. Driving a layup, 43-9. Calhoun with the lead. Pass down low, stolen away by Calhoun. Chantier Charles almost comes up with a loose ball. It goes out of bounds. 43-9, a minute 55 to go in the half. And Jeremy, we got a two and a half hour drive back home when this thing gets over with. That's right, and um, I'm not sure if it's quite two and a half. The GPS, I think, told me two and 20 or two and 15, something like that. Depends on where you live in Lanier County. Well, I live in Lakeland, so that may be right for me. 
Shantier Charles to the line. And Lady Dogs have now got into the bonus. Free throw up, no good. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Calhoun, three-pointer on the way. That's way off and out of bounds. Ball will go back to Lanier County. Daisy Jones, shot up, no good off the glass. Calhoun out of there again with it. Shot up, no good. Rebound. Broggy comes up with it. Goes ahead to Daisy Jones. Back to Broggy. Three-pointer on the way. She's fouled. She might have been just inside the three-point arc. Hard to see down on that end of the floor from our advantage. But she'll go to the line. 107 to go in the half. Kira Small is going to check into the game. Free throw on the way. No good. Off the back iron. Next free throw on the way. No good. Side of the backboard. That's supposed to be a violation. No call made. Three pointer from the corner. No good. Rebound, put back up, no good. Calhoun clears it again. Drive, push off, no call, pass on the low, spin, shot up and in. 45 to nine, 41 seconds to go. Calhoun. Foul, Shantiria Charles, she'll go to the line to shoot two. The Lady Dogs are now in the double bonus. So there's one more game after this, and then that's all of it? Or is there still more games? We throw no good. They got one more game tonight, and then there's another schedule of full slate of games tomorrow. Oh, okay. That we do not participate in. I will. Yeah, well, that's which I delight in that. Did not want to stay over here. <laughs> Either that or drive back. I mean, no. <laughs> one of the two. There's nowhere to stay here, for one. Mm. I guess the nearest place to here to would be the Albany. Yeah, I don't know how far that is from here. There is one possible route that takes you through Albany to get here from Lakeland. Yeah, I didn't take that one. That's the one it wanted me to take, and I'm like, why do I want to do that? 37 goes all the way straight there. That's right. Free throw on the way. That thing was up in the air. Yes. High arching shot. No good. Those are the same. Sermon comes out there with it. Nazaya. Finally, a foul called in there. There's Coach Ty Randolph applauding the effort from Naziah Sermon. There's another team over there on the other side. Looks like they're leaving. That's Pelham High Lady Hornet. They're the ones we watched play before the uh, boys played, right? That's right. They got thumped pretty good by Greenville. Second free throw up and in, 45-10, 17 seconds to go in the half. Lady Dog showing a little bit of trap. Zaya Sermons comes up with a steal in there. Five seconds to go, Kiara Smalls with the ball. Shot up, no good. 
And that'll end the first half. Calhoun County's Lady Cougars 45, our Lanier County Lady Dog 10. Before we go to break, we want to once again thank our sponsors. Lakeland Drugs. As Lakeland Drugs has been your hometown pharmacy since 1950. Stop by there on East Main Street in downtown Lakeland. See Miss Ivy McCurdy and her staff for all your pharmaceutical needs. Also, I want to thank Connell Cabinets and Millworks over on East Church Street in Lakeland. All year long, I've called that East Church Avenue. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, I'm not sure. Is it is it Avenue or, or Street? And uh, today, I, and I'm going to tell you why, why I started saying Street. Today, I, I looked up the, I Googled the old butcher shop because I wanted to call and order some dumplings for Christmas dinner. And yeah. uh, the old butcher shop's address is East Church Street. So... I said, well, I am guess we I've, all year long I've been saying Avenue for the Connell Cabinets, but I guess if there's a Church Street and a Church Avenue in Lakeland, I'd be surprised. But one or the other, they're on that Church Road in Lakeland. <laughs> that's right. Just go find the bank and then drive that's, down there toward that, the end of it. That's right. That street right behind the bank that runs past the butcher shop and uh, down in the old high school. It's Connell Cabinets and Millworks. And uh, proud to have Mr. Phillip. Miss Donna Connell, the sponsors of Bulldog Basketball throughout this 2018-2019 season. And we're about to end our 2018 portion of the season as we have 16 more, well, possibly. We have two more quarters, so we'll put it that way, two more quarters of Lady Dog Basketball, and that'll be our final two quarters of basketball in this year. The remainder of the season will all be in 2019. The next game will be on January 4th. And uh, for the life of me, I don't know where we play or who we play. I just know we play on January 4th. It's a home game. So uh, Last I checked, for the January 4th and January 5th were both home games. The 5th is Charleston County. I'm not sure what the 4th is. You'll have to look on look on that one. My phone is here somewhere. I can check that right. too. I was going to... Um, I was going to say, we talked about that team that came in and walked in front of the camera. If my internet will work good enough to bring the thing up. Yeah, I'd look. That team that came in was Drew Charter School out of Atlanta. They come in at five and six, but they played some big schools up in Atlanta, and they play Calhoun County next. That would be a good one to stay and watch if it wasn't such a far, long drive home. If you you may remember them from playing, they played Clinch County last year in the Class A playoffs. And defeated the Panthers over in Homerville 66 to 60 before falling to eventual state champion Wilkinson County. Internet's kind of went haywire a little bit. Well, mine's kind of halfway, halfway working. It's really slow. Yeah, let's sit here spinning now. I get some about the top five plays in football or something is what it keeps giving me. I don't want that. I want the Oh, here it comes. Now let's see here. January, hold on. This is not the right schedule. Oh, I'm in baseball. Oops, oh well. We might be able to come up with something before this final five minutes of the halftime. Okay, here we go. Right now it says we're playing Pelham. Well, it's over with now. They have not reported that score. Eccles County, January 4th, 6 p.m. And Charlton County, January 5th, 6 p.m. I don't know if there's JV games or not. Both of those games at home? Those are both, according to this, they're both home games, yes. But that could change, I guess. So 
So we might catch a bit of a break on the boys' side as both Pelham, both uh, excuse me, Eccles and Charlton are down near the bottom of the region. I think Eccles County is has zero wins and eleven losses. Lady Dogs are making their way out of the locker room from halftime. They run out and can get some basketballs and warm up a little bit. Of course, many missing from tonight's lineup. Not sure why they, uh, Jacqueline Kimbeck did not make the trip with the team. It does not appear. Normal, yeah, I knew somebody was missing. Normal starter. Also missing Gracie Brunel. Well, she's here, though. Gracie's here. Not she was ahead. here, anyway. Oh, I see her dad down there now. You said he'd come in earlier. He's down there. Yeah. Of course, uh, we've mentioned before, Gracie suffered an injury a few games ago and against Turner County. Tonight was a week ago, I believe. And uh, Was it a Friday? I think it was. It was Friday night, last Friday night against Turner County, right at the end of the ball game, which was a very good Ball game as much of them have been in Region 2A girls action. Um, Gracie hurt her foot or ankle there. Now it's in a cast and she's sometimes using crutches, other times she's not. That's right. She missed the Brantley game and missed the Irwin game last night. And tonight's game. And she's missed tonight's game. So looks like the Lady Dogs will go one and three in her absence. Playing a nine and one. Did we have any of the, um, not to cut you off or anything, but did we have any of the uh, Lakeland please come this way? How about from the school? I haven't. I, don't I haven't saw any of them. Um, what's his name? Tim or not Tim? Tim. Tim doesn't do it anymore. The one that was in um, Columbus with us. Uh, Tino Brockington. Yeah. Valentino Brockington. Yeah, he. I haven't saw Tino tonight. So how long is the third quarter going to be? Third quarter will be eight minutes. Uh, should this should not be a change in the in the score differential? Fourth quarter would probably be a six-minute quarter. So we have. Completed almost, I would guess, about half of the season. Let's see, the guys are six wins, six losses, so 12, the, uh, 12 ball games. We're at the midway point of the season. The final game is February 1st in Charlton County, yep. Folkestone, Georgia. I think we had a 24-game schedule. So 24, 25, somewhere around there. So we're at the midway point, and... Uh, Good, very well. We've lost some heartbreakers to some non-region foes as we have played a tough non-region schedule. We've been on the guys' side, also on the ladies' side. They've played most of the same opponents. They didn't play the same opponent today or the same school. The guys played Hamilton County, and the girls did not. But they've all, they both played Lowndes. They both played Cockwood County. 7A schools out of Region 1, 7A. Played home and away against Brantley County. Both teams split. No, the guys lost both times to Brantley County. The girls split with Brantley County, winning in Lakeland before losing the other night. So we got a exciting second half of the season coming up, Jeremy. I look 30 seconds. To, look for us to make a Good run. Oh, 
All right, Lady Dogs are bringing in over on the far side to start this second half. They trail 45-10. Ball, ball, the ball brought into Daisy Jones. She is, she's her shot is blocked, and Calhoun will come away with it. Ball down low, up and in, 47-10. Calhoun with the lead. They're going to back out of their pressure now, and then they're going to trap at the half court. Steal the basketball. Pass ahead, shot up and in. 49-10. Tanaya Spivey and Naziah Sermon starting this half. Calhoun with the basketball. Shot put up and in. 51-10, Calhoun with the lead. That was a close steal. Ball down low to Naziah Sermons, taken away from her by Calhoun. They've come back leading 51-10 with 6.23 to go in the third. Calhoun spreads the floor. Put a shot up, no good. Rebound put back up, no good. Rebound this time to Zaya Sermons. Tanasia Sermons from the three free throw line. Shot no good. Tanasia shot rejected. Calhoun back the other way, traveling call. Today's you bringing it across. Over to Naziah. She stops, puts up a shot. It's blocked. Calhoun's going to push it ahead. Tanasia with a block under there. Shot up and in. Jones, a long pass intercepted by Calhoun. Shot up and in, 55-10. Coach Ty Randolph calls a timeout with 4.32 to go. Is that the last one? That's either the last one or he has one more. He's called three or four up till now. Stepped on my own cord, Jeremy. About pulling things off your head. Yeah, why don't you let, why'd you let me do that? Well, I can't see your feet, the uh, computer and stuff's in the way. Had to step up and stretch a minute. Thirty-two left here in the third quarter. Lady Dolls trailing 55 to 10 to a very good Calhoun County squad. Who came into tonight's game with a nine and one overall record. Had totally annihilated several of their opponents. Looking to go to 10 and one. 
Not sure how they would match up with Greenville. If they score yet another two point basket. Now Spivey gonna bring the ball up. Under the Isaiah, she puts a shot up and in. 57 12. Here, Charles slaps the ball out of there. Ava Brogdon to the store table. She's gonna check in. Pass down low, blocked by Naziah, and a foul call. Check in, the Zaya Sermons will check out. Shot up, no good rebound, Daisy Jones. Foul call. Call on number one of Calhoun County. Here Smalls ahead to Tanaya Spivey. Tries to get it in there to back to Kira. Calhoun's gonna come out of there with it. Daisy with good defense over on that side. Oh, Shantaria Charles hits the floor hard. She's gonna get back up. She's called for a foul. Calhoun's ball on the baseline. Sure who's guarding number 35. She gets the inbound, lays it up and in. Calhoun with a 47 point lead. Still with most of their starters out there. Shot up no good. Coach Ty Randolph has went to a younger lineup, looking to get valuable playing time for several of these youngsters. Everyone out there right now will be back for multiple seasons. I believe we have mostly freshmen other than Daisy out there right now. Could be wrong, but I do believe most of them are freshmen. Some of them Possibly a sophomore, but I know most of them are, are pretty sure they are freshmen. Ava Brogdon. Nice Spivey. Kara Smalls, I believe, is a freshman. Tara Charles checks in. I believe she's a freshman. Kira Smalls almost goes the wrong way with the ball. Stops just before going back court. Smalls tries to drive, loses the ball. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Lanier County. Into the lobby. I see they don't have any doors on their lobby. No, their doors have been removed. Um, I've seen many fire code violations as I am a state fire marshal in my real job. I'll probably be sending someone over to check into some of it. Ava Brogdon with the ball in the lane. She passes it back out. Ansley with the ball over to Ava. Loose ball on the floor. Calhoun came up with it momentarily. Then Shantaria Charles took it out of there. Then Tira Charles with the ball. So on this basketball team, we have two Brogdons, two Charles, and two Sermons. I know the Brogdons are sisters. Now, how can you have, well, not on the court not right now. Not on the now. court right now. I said on okay. this on the team. Okay. But on the court, we got 
Okay. Tierra, you got Tierra Charles, you got Shantiria Charles, Ansley Brogdon, Aver Brogdon, and then Tanias Pivey. And then on the bench, you right now, you got Tanasia Sermons and Naziah Sermons. Not sure how many sets of sisters that are, other than the Brogdon sisters. Of course, Ansley a senior, and Ava a freshman. Shot up almost over the backboard. Cal Calhoun has, has finally subbed in a few of their reserves. Number five being a starter still on the floor. Number 11 also a starter. Ava with the basketball. She dribbles, has it slapped away. Chantier Charles comes up with it. I'll have a foul called on Chantier Charles. Two team fouls called on Calhoun County. Can't see how many on Lanier County. Looks like five. Shot up, no good. Foul called. There is uh, four now on Lanier County. Fifty-nine to twelve. One eighteen to go in the third quarter. Still one more quarter to go. Or in some kind of comeback, the Lady Dogs. It will be a shortened fourth quarter to six minutes. Sixty to twelve. Second free throw up and in. Sixty-one twelve. With one eighteen to go. And Ansley Brogdon will bring it up. Gets it to Denia Spivey. Denia has it stripped away from her and Calhoun. And after all that, Calhoun comes away with it, then they throw it away, then they save it, and they lose it out of bounds, and it'll be Lady Doll basketball. Back and forth, back and forth. Like a hot potato. I have not heard that saying in quite some time. <laughs> I used to hear that a lot in school. That's right. But we won't talk about that, so. About what? Me in school. You in school? Yeah. You didn't like school, Jeremy? N no, no, not, not that. I'm just <laughs> saying how long ago it was. How long ago? Mm-hmm. Uh, you, ain't been, you ain't been out of school that long. That's an off-air topic. <laughs> Chantier Charles in the Tierra Charles. Hensley tried to get it to Ava. It's slapped away by Calhoun. And Calhoun's going to commit a foul. As, her, as their player in Chantier Chased after the loose ball. 17.6 seconds to go in the third quarter. Tira brings it up. She's going to drive. Has it slapped away in there. And Calhoun's going to throw it away with six seconds to go in the half, in the third quarter. Chantier Charles shot at the buzzer short, no good. And that'll end the third quarter with Calhoun County leading 61 to 12. Don't mean to be short, but when this game is over, we're gonna sign off pretty quickly. So we wanna once again thank our sponsors, Lakeland Drug Company. Lakeland Drug, been your hometown pharmacy since 1950. Stop by there on East Main Street, downtown Lakeland, and thank Miss Ivy McCurdy and her staff for allowing us to bring you these Bulldog basketball games. Also want to thank Connell Cabinets and Millworks over on East Church Street in Lakeland. View their website uh, at ConnellCabinet.com and see their portfolio. Stop by there and see them in person. Thank Philip and Miss Donna for sponsoring Bulldog basketball. Once again, 
want to remind everybody of we certainly apologize for not being able to bring you these games live this afternoon as we typically do. Internet connection, internet service in this gymnasium was not a strong enough signal to connect. Um, so we're unable to do that, but we'll have a shortened six minute quarter here as we round out 2018 of Lady Doll basketball. Calhoun gonna shoot a three-pointer up and in. 64 to 12. Daisy Jones with the basketball. Tonight, Tarai Charles shot up no good. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Five team fouls now on Calhoun County. Tarai's free throw is no good. Calhoun gonna get the rebound and bring it across. Santeria comes up with a steal. She puts a shot up and in. 64-14, Calhoun County with the lead. And the basketball. Lady Dog still playing hard. Five oh three to go here. Calhoun drives, puts it up and in. Sixty six fourteen. Tara Charles brings it across. Over to Daisy Jones. Daisy drives, has it slapped away. Isaiah Sermon's come up with it, now a jump ball. Ball thrown away, out of bounds. We're back to Calhoun County. Well, Jeremy, you got a big Christmas plan? Uh, no. No? Nope. Nope, I'll be uh, relaxing because they're closed that day uh, where I work at, so. Yeah. So I'll just be relaxing. I do have to uh, set up a computer. Three-pointer from Tariah Charles up and in. 68-17. Well, I got off today at lunch and headed over here to Calhoun County. And I don't have to go back to work till after the new year. Oh, well, that's nice. So, um, so you'll be partying then, huh? No, no. I'm uh, always things to do around the house. And yeah, I could do some of that, too. If I only got one day to do it in, I'd rather relax. I checked with my good friend, Mr. Willie Frank Mathis, and... Yesterday, I saw him up at the butcher shop getting lunch like I was and asked him what days would he be open out at the county uh, trash dump, and he said he would be there, told me the days he would be there, and I told him I would see him at least one day because I was going to put my kids to work because they was out of school, cleaning up and haul some junk away. amazing how much stuff you can accum accumulate when you stay somewhere 20 years. Calhoun's coach must not be happy with only winning by 51 points. He yet has three of his starters in the game. Free throw on the way, no good. Ava Brogdon's going to check in, and Daisy Jones will check out. 
three and a half minutes to go here in the basketball game. Three-point shot from Calhoun, no good. Foul called. Chantier Charles was pushed in the back by number one. Sixty-eight, seventeen, three twenty-four to go. Tierra Charles bringing it up in the middle of Isaiah Sermon. She turns around, puts it up and in off the glass. Sixty-eight, nineteen. Isaiah Sermons with a block. 32 come up with it. I thought she is still out of bounds. It did look like that, but I'm looking at this three-inch screen here on this camera, so. 70 to 19. Nonetheless, nice block in there from Isaiah Sermon. So how long before the team leaves once this is over? I would like right away. I or? would imagine immediately. Can't say that I blame him. Was I shot blocked? Calhoun pushes it out in front. Number 10 races to the basket, lays it up, no good. Spivey comes away with it. And then to ride Charles is foul from behind by number 10. To ride, go to the line and shoot a one and one. Free throw from Charles on the way. No good. Rebound Calhoun. Shot laid up and in. And number 23, number one, and number 12, and number 32 all started the basketball game, still playing. Nice Spivey shot up, no good. Calhoun tries to go back door, they lose it out of bounds. Minute 58 left, 72 19. Shots blocked. She shoots again. Blocked. Fouled. No call. Officials trying to get the game over with. They got one more to do, and then they got plans, right? That's right. Three-point shot. No good. Rebound. Calhoun put back up and in. 74-19. Charles running one hundred, no good. Did it go out of bounds? With one oh four left. Twenty three shot up, no good. She slides to the floor. Now we have a What type of call? I'm not sure what that was. Jeremy, I missed it. Yeah, I don't know what it was either. I was watching number three, 23. She slid to the floor. Makes you think. Coach is continuing to play starters up by 53, 55 points. 57 points now, and the starter goes down hard on the floor playing in a 57-point game. Interior Charles drives, shot up, no good. Ava Brogdon with a rebound. She's blocked from behind. 33 seconds. Lady Dog basketball over on the, on the baseline. Calhoun are out again on a long, fast break, and Chantier Charles with a foul.
Shot up and in. Gano's going to check in. Chantier Charles checking out. Free throw no good. Isaiah Sermon's away with it. 20 seconds left in the game. Sermon shot up off the glass. No good. Gets her own rebound. Puts it back up. No good. On rebound. Back up and she's fouled. 14 seconds left. And like I say, as soon as the final 14 runs off, we're going to sign off and get our get the equipment packed up so we can get out of here and make this long drive back to Lakeland. Remind everybody that Lady Dogs and Bulldogs will play. Their next games will be January 4th in the doghouse against the Eccles County Lady Cats and Wildcats. And then January 5th, also another home game against the Charlton County Maidens and Charlton County Indians. Sermon's free throw is no good. She'll have one more. Second free throw, no good. Calhoun, long down court pass. 42 puts a shot up and in. Five more seconds to go. Tierra Charles with the ball. She shoots it from half court. No good. Now they end the basketball game with Calhoun County, 79, Lady Dogs, 19. We'll see everybody back in Lakeland in January.